plot a route automatically. To plot a route automatically, first consider whether your route could include the Panama Canal, Suez Canal and so on. If so, then simply click on the relevant radio box to enable these routes. Start typing the port name you are setting off from. Select the port name you require from the drop down list. You can then set your destination port in the same way. NaviPlanner will create suggested routes. To include a midway destination, click the plus sign and add a port. By clicking on the port name, the detailed port window will open. Plot a route manually. To plot a route manually, first switch on the ports switch from the layers display. Then set your turn radius and speed in the settings menu. Click on the manual route tool at the top left of the screen and ensure that edit route slider is switched on, red. Then click on the new route icon. Using the cursor, highlight the departure port with a click. You can then set manual waypoints with a click and these are highlighted in the route pane on screen, showing date and time. Click on your arrival port to complete the route. You can zoom on the chart to see the route and the traffic. You can click and drag the waypoint icons to adjust the route. This also opens a new pane where you can see detailed information about the waypoint. When you are happy with your route, switch the edit route slider off. View ENCs for a route. You can view ENCs in the floating menu. Click to open the ENC menu. You can adjust the on-screen display by clicking on the switches. These are named Overview, Approach, Harbour, Berthing, Coastal or General. When all six are open, the All switch is also highlighted. Clicking on My ENCs will show only the ENCs that you have ordered and are available within NaviPlanner. Order Digital Charts Using the Show Intersecting ENCs slider, you can see an overlay of the digital charts that you have in your Navi Planner subscription. Click on the shopping cart and you will see the charts that you need are highlighted at the top of the screen. Click on the cart icon here to open the order screen. This highlights the charts available, their license period, and expiry date. Complete the order fields and then click send to place the order. Downloading a chart. If a download is in progress or available, you'll see the download icon highlighted in red. Click it to see the download status, either downloading in progress or download complete. Creating a voyage report. To create a voyage report, it's necessary to set your sea start and sea end waypoints. NaviPlanner will not allow you to proceed until you have done this. Highlight the sea start waypoint and click on the checkbox. Then scroll and select a sea end waypoint. Click on the voyage plan icon and you will now see the voyage report pane. Preparing the voyage report. Where an item on your report is highlighted in red, you need to add or correct information. For example, populate details in the report header where the fields are blank. Add detail into the route overview, such as speed, in order to calculate steaming time and adding initials to the ENC Temporary and Permanent Notices to Mariners and ENC Preliminary Notices. Generating the Voyage Report. Once you have all orange or green icons, you can create the report. Simply click on Generate Report. You will see your report in the Edit Create pane. Here you can edit it, delete it or share it by creating a PDF. View port information.
click the Layers icon in the floating menu to see locations specific information. Use the Ports switch to see ports on the display. You can double click on a port to load the port summary. This will show port specific information such as size, fuel availability and port plans. Double click on Approaches to open a map of the port. You can double click on Plans to open the Google Earth view, subject to Google Earth being available on your computer. This will overlay the port information map on the Google Earth view to allow you to explore the map in detail. On the window, click the coloured icon on the right hand side to view a key to port and terminal types to help identify the port capabilities. Clicking the icon to its left opens a new window with detailed port information which would feature in your final voyage plan. You can scroll through to find specific information you may need. View chart detail and text. When reviewing a close-up of the chart, you can use the other display slider to highlight more detail on the chart, such as depth contours, soundings, pipelines and so on. Use the text slider and the chart will display more specific information such as place names, geography and depths. And the lights text will show specific coordinates. View nav area warnings. To see nav area warnings, use the navigational warnings switch. The chart view shows the wheel icon. Double click on an icon to see the warning information. View piracy warnings. To see piracy warnings for a location, use the piracy information switch. The chart view shows colored icons. Double click on an icon to see the warning information. View weather. Click the weather settings icon in the floating menu. This opens a window showing a choice of chart locations and use the sliders to add or remove wind, rain and pressure. You can select specific times of the day to see changes in weather or use the animation slider to animate the timeline. Notifications. If you have notifications, they'll be highlighted in red on the envelope icon. You can see any new notifications or previously viewed notifications by clicking on the icon. These may include notifications about orders, exported or shared routes, USB media, or activity such as files deleted.